Now, I'd like to edit the Vita scene transitions. To do this, I select it in the timeline, and then I go to the Information palette and open the Vita scene setup dialog. It takes a few seconds, and then this window opens with the Vita scene interface. I'll configure this for my tastes. You can see that there are a variety of regions in the window. And if you select with the mouse a dividing line between two sections, a double arrow appears. And by holding the left mouse button, you can adjust this border. And in so doing, you can set it up for your requirements. The section on the right to the top is a preview. For the minute, it is empty, and so we can see this form of chessboard design. I can also adjust the size of this preview. As my recording area is somewhat small, I'll switch down to 25%. Obviously, for users who have a larger workspace, then I could move the entire window to the side, and then I could see the preview directly from within EDIUS. In our case here, the recording area is too small, and so I'll keep it as it is. Here in this middle section, we have the presets, and I'm in the default subsection, the transition group number one. I can go up in the hierarchy, and then I can see various subsections. You can see there are also two filters, and I created these myself. In the frame of this bonus chapter, we won't discuss them though. I'd like to change back into the transition group from before, and there I can find a variety of transition templates. And I can look at a few of them by double clicking on a subcategory. And then if I select these preview images by clicking once with the mouse, we get a miniature preview based on the integrated images. With this, I can get a rough idea of what it will do. And if I like it, I can simply double click to load the specific transition. And then I can preview the effect on my own video material. I'll go back up into the main group and I'll change into a different folder. And as you can see, there's a variety of separate folders with different categories. And by double clicking, I can select different effects. So double click the template and then use the play function here. Then we can see what our video material will look like. Obviously, the most interesting way to deal with this is to simply click through a variety of the items so you can get an idea of what is possible with VitaScene. Having done this, it will become much easier later on to select a specific filter that will do what you need, as you will have an idea what is possible from within VitaScene. If I'm happy with the selected effect, I can switch back into EDIUS. And to do this, we click on this item here the Save the Project and Return to Editing program. Having clicked on it, VitaScene is closed and the settings are applied. And so now, if I look at it once more, then I can see the required effect. You may find it useful to render this as well, as in some cases, playback can be a bit jittery. So to the render menu, and then simply render entire project, and then red area. We've seen this before. EDIUS will then render this section, and the whole thing will be played back more smoothly.